ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಪೂಜೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕೋತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಗಮ್ ಖಾನ Je sais que ce coup, je l'ai vu. Je l'ai vu, 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 je l'ai vu. Hearing about the grant was through my mother-in-law. She reads newspaper a lot. And she saw the Vidu Igodalo uh, Foundation grant and she just called us and said, there is this thing, why don't you apply for it? And I'm like, um, I wasn't really interested, to be sincere. I wasn't. We heard it on the radio that There's going to be an idea of free treatment for people looking onto God for fruit of the womb. And he mentioned the Bidini Foundation. Like she said, she, she, she was reluctant. She was super reluctant. She, she gave an excuse. We are Muslims. Bidini Buddha Foundation. Bidini herself is a Christian. Her, her husband was in church. You know, this is just going to be a, a church thing. And I said, no. It, If it is going to be a church thing, then the information will be on radio and uh, it won't be all encompassing. It will have been done in the church and uh, people will participate. After a while, I sat her down and uh, started doing the registration, which she took part in also reluctantly. Sister, I'm going to have a foundation. I'm going to have a foundation. So, I'm going to have a foundation. I'm going to have a foundation. I'm going to have a foundation. Because I'm going to have a foundation. I'm going to have a foundation. When on the blog and I saw the the article and I thought to myself, why not? Let's give it a try. Spoke to him about it and um, filled out the forms. The forms, yeah. And filled everything out, submitted. With the little resources that I have, I will try to help as many couples as I can. I wish I could help everyone. And you know, I can really do as much as I can for now. But I decided I said one family at a time. I don't know if I can put that smile in their faces. I just heal that home. And 
everything goes back to God because He's the one who gives children. Who gave them the foundation? The twin fight well because they're trying to help, and we we are partnering with them to help bring smiles to homes. Even now we are um, at the process of starting another circle. Yeah, because the first one wasn't um, uh, successful. So we're trying to work out, work out, work out and do another one. one. And, uh, and this time it's going to happen. God is using the video to put a smile on our face. IBF has been in Nigeria for quite some years. People do not come out to say this is what I did. Most Nigerians, we do not tell people the truth. Because that is not money, but we say, ah, show that baby. I test you, bro. Do you know? I've been married for six years now. I don't have a child yet. I'm enjoying my marriage. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed. There's IVF, but principally, my advice to couples is first and foremost, you seek the face of God. I have considered IVF, and my wife and I are in the process. Once the man don't marry, which like two years, the woman no carry, but then go divorce the woman and go marry another person. But it's not right. At least they should exercise patience. Like why you, you said about IV, IVF. Some, somebody can do it, maybe from there, God will bless the person with children. I can advise all those people who are looking for a child, running here and there, that they should better go for the, the, the fertility clinic. And then, uh, then they have the, 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 the solution for the IVF. Science has made IVF a soccer to some people who, who never believed in it. The, the children of IVF have, have seen a couple of them grown to adulthood and um, they are doing very well. And it's about what you are doing for a man. We do any bear. Come on, show. Come on, shake. Come on, come on, see that. 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 Come on, see Somebody brought me the Ghana must go bags of water, soap, and tablets from Ghana. They said I must drink this one Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I must use this soap to have my bath, and my husband must not use any soap. How can I be doing hide and seek in my own house? <laughs> but if you say the soap, the soap will not work. What about the child am I? I'm not asking for. If I don't know, people just come with solutions. Like, like I said, they just want to help. You know, but you have to be wise. family 
raising beautiful children who will serve the Lord. After about maybe 10 years of marriage and 11 failed IVFs, she changed one of her dreams, not just to physically having children, but to ensuring that she could make it possible for every lady who desired to have children or every family who desired to have children to have their own, regardless of their financial status. Having done procedures of this nature herself, each one costing between three and four million did it. Some of them had to be done abroad. So when you factor in air travel, hotel, and all sorts of things, it was indeed a very pricey venture. And in the course of her treatment, she came across quite a few young ladies, or even older women, who had to go through this procedure, the pain, the trauma, the challenges, the emotions of sometimes failed procedures, and then of course, the financial burden on both husband and wife. And then one morning, in the year 2016, she woke me up and said, she was going to start the Igudini Equation to look after as many women as possible that God would help her to support to have their own children. She encouraged adoption and she said those who didn't want to adopt were quite uh, welcome to go through procedures. And I said to her, how much will this procedure cost? I said, you know how much you've been paid? I said, that's a lot of money. Two, three, four million per procedure. Her reply was that God will help us. God will help us. And as soon as she said us, I knew she had roped me into this foundation for life. She said, you are going to be the chairman. City Adenuga will be on the board. And then I will manage the project. And that is how we started. And she started with a lot of passion. She was going to have what they call uh, the couples day out, where she had a full day of events, introducing uh, scientific methods of reproduction, emotional challenges people went through in reproduction, even family counseling or husband and wife who needed to be on the same page. And then she added a spiritual angle. Without the help of God, some of these things may not work. And therefore, she brought pastors and ministers to speak to reproduction from a spiritual perspective and to pray for those who are believing God for the fruit of the womb. And then she brought people who had been through this trauma before to recount their own experiences. I think in one of the